Do not judge what you're about to hear because by the end of this video, I guarantee your opinion will change. And coming up, you're gonna hear who Chuck wrote the song The Philosopher about. Next, I'm gonna change the order of the clips and it's gonna influence very differently how you heard those first three clips. When you first heard that 2008 clip, I'm gonna guess that you thought it sounded pretty horrible, but right here, right after the remix, it actually sounds pretty good. It's clear, and it's the remix that sounds like it's breaking up and sounds kinda cloudy. Trivia time! It's no secret that Scott Burns and Chuck were pretty close through all the recordings they did together. But one thing that kinda bothered Scott was how much Chuck would speak ill of his past bandmates. This next passage is about Paul, who played in Cynic. At the same time, I knew the drill. I would stand there and hear him get pissed about former band members and bands I recorded. I'd say, come on, Chuck, I, I don't think it's like that. Paul was super smart and cool, but he and Chuck were oil and water. Paul was like a Buddhist and Chuck didn't understand it. That would piss off Chuck, which is how he ended up with a philosopher. Now the 2008 sounds weird. Okay, this, this is my conclusion from this, because none of this really makes any sense to me. I feel like whatever you hear first and you listen to it a certain amount of time, that kind of becomes the norm, the default, and anything after that sounds really weird and wonky. Oh, and I found something really interesting about the remix that probably even diehard fans didn't realize. I'm going to show it to you here in a second. If you found that this video helped you, I'd like you to subscribe if you could, because I tell you what, I always listen to my subscribers and what they want me to do. They told you to jump off a bridge, would you? Uh Okay, here's that little secret that I found. Now listen to the first one real quick here. And then listen to the second one. Right, they're both the same. But now, listen to the remix here. Did you hear that? There's no guitar in the left one. Why in the remix did they take out that left guitar? I mean, it doesn't really change anything, but I thought that was kind of interesting. And I wonder how many more of these little secrets like scattered throughout the album. If you do know some, Please write them down in the comments. Thanks to Mikhail for getting me this torrent because then I was able to do this video. Actually, I was originally going to do human, but I couldn't find it. He found this for me, so I really appreciate that. And that reminds me, if you guys know, I mean, if you have these CDs or, you know, lossless files and I'm in need of it, reach out to me because then we could all kind of listen together and figure out what versions we like the best. I know this is probably not a popular opinion among you Death fans, but this is my favorite Death album right here. <clears throat> And thanks to Mikhail, thank you. But one thing that's got, but one thing that's got, and thanks to Mikhail for getting me this torment, torment.